everybody Shannon and Karen with Wandering Out Yonder. Today we are going to sh do a van tour for you. We thought it um, might be kind of cool to share kind of where we're at with our do-it-yourself. No build. No build. <laughs> yeah, no uh, build. This is more of an assembled project. Um, and again, uh, we are not knocking anybody who likes to do the cabinetry and all that kind of stuff. Shannon and I have always said we would not be interested in, in decking out our van that way. Things change too much. Um, and we always knew we would want to try to utilize uh, the metal in the van for magnetic storage, so forth and so on. And that's what we've done. So we've created what we feel is very comfortable, cost effective, uh, and really the goal for us is getting out on the road. All right, so I reached in my pocket and realized my phone was dead. So I'm having to charge it. And hopefully Shannon has enough power. On her phone. I just charged mine. All right. So I'm going to start with one of the things that we found recently that has really helped us out, and that is the step stool here. Now, yeah. this is the one you see this little one right here. It's the one we used to use. Shannon, get up in there and show how much better that bigger one works than this tiny small one. <laughs> yeah, see? Stepping up. All right. All right. Now go to the other one. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you really, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when it's slick and wet yeah. or you're tired, not ideal. So anyhow, this is a really cool piece that we've yeah, so recently found and have been using. And it folds up nice and flat. All right, so that's our new step in. Now, we do use this one now. Like if we want to put a fan on it or heat it or something, we need it for something. We do keep it in there. All right, so that's the, be the beginning of getting inside the van for us. I'm going to take you guys inside and just kind of show you around. All right, guys, I'm going to start at the front of the van. Um, typically, when we're parked, uh, this is the front uh, windshield cover that we use. It's insulated, and it um, works fantastic for us. Anyway, and then our window covers usually are up in the ceiling of the van when we're driving around. But when we're parked, we'll put this up here, okay? We have some great little uh, phone holders that we have that fit down into the drink holders, um, that we utilize and then we have some chargers that we use to charge our phones there and um, when we are parked we will use the front seat to hold just some extra things that we might have um, this time around this is always with this it's got my ipad and all kinds of extra things in it a notebook and um, all kinds of stuff and my, our purses we hang them off and turn them around the front these are our laundry bags and we sling those around to the front all right, so those are all out of the way. And then up in the top of the cab here, we have, this is a solar lamp. This is our heater. Fits right up in there, nice and tight. Um, this is our new book. We just went to this seminar. You know, we have that up here. I have a fly swatter in here because you know, that happens sometimes you need a fly swatter. And then Shannon keeps some of her, um, Filming equipment, camera equipment, her i her tripod, and some other various things up that's in the jackery supplies in the center there. This right here. Uh, yep, that's okay. all the jackery. Supplies. All right, all right. So she keeps all of that up in there. All right. So now I'm going to turn you around and show you the back of the van, how we organize. Okay. So this is from the cab, looking out the back of the van. Say hi, Shannon. Hi. I'm supposed to say hi, Shannon. Oh no. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so this, we have three of these lockers, okay, and we did a video on these lockers quite a while back, and we'll link it below, right. how we installed these and where we got them and all of that, but these have turned out fantastic for us as far and as storage. They are attached to the walls, right. so they don't move, they are attached to the walls. Right, as well as this cool new stand that we just found. Anyhow, we're going to go into some detail with some of this stuff with you, but, um, First of all, I wanted to talk about the lockers and the way that we uh, stabilize all of these heavier pieces, even the cots, um, is that we utilize the already pre-drilled holes that are in the van. I'm going to show those to you. So again, um, the no build, we, when we first bought the van, it was empty. The only thing that was in here was the floor, a rubber, um, match. A rubber match, which we were thrilled to have. So anyhow, 
we, as we're laying here, we're looking around going, okay, so we're going to utilize all these pre-drilled holes in the band some way, somehow to make this work for us. We went through all kinds of stuff, but anyhow, if you look behind me here, Shannon, show them. Yeah. So the van is full of these, these already existing holes. Some are small, some are big, some go the whole way through, some don't. You just kind of have to mess around. But everything that is large, our beds, the lockers, um, the new stand that we have for the new refrigerator, mm -hmm. it is all large zip tied through these holes. So if we were to have to hit the brakes, all of this isn't going to come forward right. on us. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it's secure. Everything in here, here is secure. Yeah. It doesn't move at all. No. So, yeah, we've never had an issue with no. it. And we and have had to slam the brakes yeah, on a few times. Yeah, we have had a so. hard brake for a deer mm -hmm. and a tractor trailer once before. Yep. So, and everything stayed in place minus a hat or two falling. Right. All right. So, again, guys, we found these lockers on uh, Hobby Lobby. We found our first one at Hobby Lobby. Yep, Karen's idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was looking for a way to have something that was vertical. All right. That wouldn't take up a lot of space but would provide us with a lot of storage so i found those at Ho found that at hobby lobby right. we actually went shopping there and we saw it and i told her i said i really think that's a good idea those are going to work and yeah, she wasn't sure so we came first. home and we measured and we were like yep those are going to work perfect yes. so we went back and got it that was the first one was the <laughs> right. front one up yeah front this there. one right here this used to be my kitchen right. it is now your bedroom my bedroom so all of my clothing that i need and I have winter and summer in here. All right, so Shannon has her locker, her clothing locker back here. All right. Well, Karen came up with the idea after we, we really love these, so we put two more in. Mm -hmm. um, and the kitchen was not convenient to have to keep going in and coming out, going in and coming out. So Karen opted to make this the kitchen, yep. which actually worked out perfect because now not only is everything at the end here because we cook outside, it put us on opposite sides of the van for when we're trying to get our clothes out and everything. We're not we're not constantly bumping into each right. other. So it spreads us out in the van, which is a bonus. Right. right. So as Shannon was saying, that's why we separated those out. The other cool thing about these lockers is they are made of metal and they are magnetic magnetic we so love magnets. yeah we are just like anything magnetic we see something magnetic at the store we go well can we figure out how to use that yep. <laughs> but anyhow i'm going to turn you around and show you how we've even utilized these lockers for storing all right so this is the one behind the driver's seat this is the locker and we have some magnetic storage bins with maps our binoculars um, this is a first aid kit that my son gave us for Christmas one year. We have that in here. And then on the other side right now, I have a magnetic light, which I love because I can read. All right, there you go. And then on the top, we wanted to try to utilize the space going up. So what we did is we found these really nice um, bins and Shannon has them Velcro to here and glued. It, it's double-sided Velcro, and then the Velcro is glued with Gorilla Glue to the top of the magnet and the top of the thing. So they're actually almost impossible to get back off. Yes. I tried to move it. Yeah. yeah. But it will come off with some effort if All you right. want it to. So anyhow, that's what we decided we would do that here, and that way we could fit in our bear canister, which we like to keep our snacks and stuff in. This little basket right here fit in perfectly because Shannon and I have a banana every morning and we had to figure out a way to store them without beating them up and that worked out well. And there you go, you saw my magnetic light. I like to use that. Another magnet. Right, another magnet. All right, so anyhow, that's how we have utilized these lockers. I'm gonna bring you back here and show you back here. See, these are just, what are these things called again? I forgot, Shannon. These little bins right here. Oh my, they're just, Mag magnetic storage bins yeah uh hun honey honey can do honey can do that's yeah. what i was trying to think honey of. can do is the brand right yeah. so and they make them in different sizes so you got the small one and i think they make them in black and white yes and gray and gray yes. so, yeah, yeah we do have gray one gray here. one yeah, yeah. So. Mm -hmm. yep so we utilize these lockers for more storage right. on both sides so you can see this is my side and this is where i keep all my hiking buffs and scarves and all that kind of stuff bandanas and that one and then over here on shannon's side 
she keeps whatever she keeps here. Yep, my hat. Mm -hmm. Right, she's got her flashlight there. Yep. And then the top of the cabinet, you can see again, we found these baskets yep. and we found two of them so that we have some consistency in here. And Shannon stores all of our coffee, everything we need for cooking is in up here, her, her stove, her gas. Um, when we need to do coffee in the morning, she does this. And over here is our bin that has all of our water in it, our grail, um, and whatever else we might need to store in there, we have it's that. Usually the water is mm -hmm. normally how we transport the water. And again, that's how good these are on here. Mm -hmm. We can have a gallon of water and bottles of water in here and go around and turn, and this, it doesn't go anywhere. Nope, nope. So, I mean, you nope. can see it's, it's on there. Yep, we have had, it's, this has worked out real well for us. Yeah. So anyhow, the bins are just fantastic. And then I'm gonna show you around the back. Or I'm sorry, the, the uh, lockers. All right, and looking from the outside in, again, here's the locker, here's a locker. And you can see where we have, these are actually lint bins, okay? And we got those, I think, on Amazon or something. Yeah. 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 And they are magnetic. So we use these for storage, like I keep kitchen, this is my kitchen, okay? Everything that I use to cook with is pretty much in here. Um, and this also, this, these cabinets in here, this is my kitchen too. I've got stuff stored in here, food, whatever we might need for the road. There you go. And then over here on Shannon's side, she has trash bags, fire sorting stuff. Mm -hmm. Now these, these here in the back, we did again the velcro and we added extra reinforcement now if i really 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 tug on these they will come off um but the purpose of that was the sun coming in the back was hitting the the sticky on the um on the magnets and sometimes the magnets were coming dislodged so these are now double adhered to the lockers and they support more weight now. right right yeah all right. So any, again, as I'm, I'm showing you that we've just utilized everything that we can around these lockers. I mean, inside the lockers and on top of the lockers. So we've got a whole lot going on just in these areas. Everything's magnets. Yes. And over here, everything, everything that we have going on here. And then as well as up front in that locker there. So we've utilized these three areas to hold a lot of stuff for us. All right, so again, this is another thing. These magnets, we use these for all sorts of things, like um, when we need to dry our towels and we can't dry them outside, we can take them and hang them up here and they will dry. And then we have this little hanger right here. This works out great. This is our little portable solar lamp. We can hang it here for some light if we'd like. And this is magnet. This is a magnet on this one. Again, we utilize these types of magnets all throughout the van. See, I have my little knife hook there. Okay, and then Shannon has some on her side as well too. Like we will hang our jackets back behind here. We each have a couple of different types of jackets that we hang back there. Okay, so we do utilize anything that we can find that's magnets. Okay, and then I found these little clips. So if we need any of that kind of storage or help, we'll have those. All right, so I showed you guys um, back behind my bunk, my light, and I'm gonna turn around and show it to you again. It's magnets <laughs> that holds it on there, fantastic. I'm gonna show you another magnetized lamp or light that we have is this one. Look at that. You can hang that from the ceiling anywhere you want. Wall. It. Yeah. yeah. All right, so anyhow, this? There's a story behind that, and yeah. I'm going to share it with you. Um, and the story is, <laughs> you know how you sometimes get for a gift, like at Christmas, your birthday or something, somebody will give you something, and you're like, oh, cool. And, but you're not really sure what you're going to use it for. So, Shannon's grandmother gave us that lamp, or gave Shannon that lamp, I mm. think, for Christmas or something one year. I Several don't remember. Ago, and it was kind of one of those things that we just, we never really did anything with it for a while. And then Shannon pulled it out, and um, as you saw in the previous video, she um, used it in <laughs> for tent camping. We figured out a way to use it for tent camping, and then she stuck it in here and realized, yeah, that they're perfect for in here. <laughs> yes. Not only are they perfect, 
we now recommend them to um, like Karen's uh, son and daughter-in-law. They got a van. We're like, these things, these things are great. And they are. Yeah, because you can move them around. Mm -hmm. You can take them outside. Um, we have used them to make a trip to the bathroom after dark. And they're yeah. pretty cheap. They're, they're, they're found on they're TV. Horrible. Yeah. Yes. Um, I think because <laughs> the first one that I had, we actually would kind of fight over who was going to get it so we had to wind up getting a second one so we each had one and yeah i think it was under ten dollars that yeah. we found it mm -hmm. so, so these have been great all right and so now behind shannon's bed um we have a stand that we have figured out that this our new refrigerator will sit on top of perfectly it took us a while to find just the right size stand for the van that wouldn't take up a lot of room and then down below here is our grow watt that we're storing so we can uh, keep our refrigerator in here, keep it charged up by utilizing this area right here in this stand and it doesn't take up a lot of room. So that's how we're managing that right now. So again, um, we utilize every inch of space that we can possibly utilize in here. Like behind my bed is a uh, fold out portable table. Like if we need it, I've actually, we've actually pulled it out and set it on top of the bed, not, not folded out, but just in that position. And we've used it as a cutting board and a table to eat off when the weather's bad. Is that right, Shannon? We used it as intended once on our out west trip. And then we figured out that it's perfect for an indoor emergency kitchen <laughs> when it's raining, yes. windy. Yes. Yeah, and it works as a great headboard for me. <laughs> so. All right, and then I'm going to show you behind my cot again, Using utilizing everything. every nook and cranny we can inside the slots of already pre-cut slots in the van there you go. You can see. are little compartments okay so we can utilize this space for other things this these are our um chairs our helionox chairs yes. that's our helionox chairs and yeah. tables so and we have can. two tables or two chairs and a table tucked in there right. easy to get to and then this we have up as just a just a form of insulation right barrier. right to mm -hmm. kind of keep the cold condensation of the metal off all of, of it off of mm -hmm. Karen's bed, right? and works great yep we've got them on both sides right both sides of the van okay so like I said we can utilize any of those nooks and crannies that are back behind these uh, I'm not sure what this is some kind of a uh, wool flooring it's that we it's a rug yeah, yeah it's that we rug. use for um, insulation over here it, to keep moisture off the beds and so forth and it keeps the cold out, and um, it, it's just a good piece of insulation. And Velcro. Uh, yeah, she just Velcroed it up there. Right. But like I said, you see the compartments. We can utilize those if we want to. All right. Yeah, we mostly use Karen's side because this side has actually has wires that go through, mm -hmm. so it's not as um, it's not as empty as Karen's side. Right. So we use those more. All right. So you hear a lot about. Um, how do you keep condensation down? Well, this is one of the ways that Shannon and I do it. These dampered bags, these are fantastic. Um, we have used those through storms and all kinds of... We keep the damper yeah. in here 24-7. Right. Yeah, I keep right. them in here and I change them out. Depends, depends on what the weather is, the humidity and everything. I change them out anywhere from once a week to once every two or three weeks. Right, and those are fantastic for keeping humidity and condensation down in the van all right so moving on um it took us a while to figure out how to get paper towels in here and shannon found this magnetic rack so we now are able to hang our paper towels and use them which is really nice because that wasn't happening beforehand all right so you heard shannon talking about the honey can do uh magnetic containers we love these things all right, you see, I have one here. This is my, my bath, my shower stuff here. And I have a blow dryer and all kinds of stuff that I need. My shower stuff, my toothbrush, my brush, everything I would need for personal shower and hygiene, I have right here in my honey can do containers. And I have them wrapped in my compression bags. Just makes things look a lot nicer and neater in here. And then you can see all along the walls here, we have magnetic bins, the honey can do's, that we store um, clothing that's my pajamas these are the bins we were talking about the lint bins that we keep socks there's my underwear and I keep my hats here that's my Melly because I wear it all the time 
And then we have them up here running along to hold some of our electronic equipment, the wires, the cords, and so forth. And then up here, I have a couple of extra ones that we keep the um, splitters, the power, the, yeah, the power splitters. We always keep them in the same place so we know where they're at. Yep, sometimes the umbrella, and I also keep my knee braces up here so I know where they're at, so that's helpful. All right, and then Shannon has the same kind of system going on her side as well. Pretty as you can see, pretty similar. You can see her honey can do yes. bins and the lint bins. The only differences is up there are more charging things for to recharge our batteries, our lights, any of the solar stuff, and the very front one there is laundry. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you can see she's got her purple lizard maps up here and we have a whole bunch of those. We love purple lizard maps. That is her um, sea tug that she puts in her backpack when she goes backpacking. And again, she uses some of the bags like the full bags and so forth to store her stuff where it looks a lot nicer and neater. And then up here is again where she says she keeps some of the electronics up in here. That's the laundry one. Oh, that's the laundry yep. one. Okay, so we have a little bin for laundry. Oh, and there they are. See, yep. you didn't even know those were up there. Yeah. All right, so we have little places for everything that we need in our cool little container that are magnetic. All right, and so our hiking poles we have secured up here. And again, utilizing these already pre-cut holes that were already in the van to hang, our, this is a bag Shannon found, and she's got her her hiking pole slid down into it so that if they're dirty, the dirt stays in the bag and doesn't fall down on her at night. <laughs> and I have kind of the same thing going on over here. There's my hiking poles up above, utilizing these holes and bungees and so forth to hang our poles up here. Again, another way to utilize what's already pre-cut in the van to help you out. That's what that's about. Oh wait, I need to show you something cool. All right. <laughs> These are our magnetic bottle holders. All right. So that was something that we were running into that beat was an issue in here is we had nowhere to put our water bottles or coffee or our tea, some, whatever we were drinking while we were in here. And especially like when the weather was bad and we were kind of stuck inside. So. Shannon found these. These actually she found on Amazon. Yes, they were, I think they were called Master Cup Holders. Master. And if you look really, really close, you can see that it had some text on it. Yes. Karen spruced them up. Not, well, Shannon found these laser cut um, trees. Yeah, trees. They're uh, like stickers. Decals, yeah. And so you had to put them on and we covered up the wording with trees so it looks cool. And so I have one here on my side of the bed. Shannon has one also to keep our water bottles in or my coffee cup. These we found at Harbor Freight. Yep. Let me pull it out. And do you see that? Right. You see how That's... strong that magnet is? They're really hard to get off. Right. Everything they will in hold here. some weight. But we got these at Harbor Freight. We were thrilled. We were in there and they have a whole bunch of magnetic stuff. It was with the tools, like it was on this giant toolbox, you know, so that you could magnet put magnet stuff all over your toolbox to store things and we were like wow that works for us so anyhow each have one of those Shannon has one too yep so you can have our coffee so, and yeah. our water at the same time yeah, and this, yep yep this holds my my tea cup so yep. thrilled I'm going to start up here to show you some more storage space and then we're going to kind of work our way down underneath the cots and, and the floor area to show you that as well but um I had found these um mesh uh what are these called shannon cargo nets. yes cargo nets found those at a yard sale and they they velcro to the back of the seat um and are real secure we love these shannon has some on her side and i have some on my side i keep my camping sandals here um during the summer and extra my extra shoes for the winter and then i keep my uh my sleeping pad or my heated sleeping pad. See, there's Shannon's right there. All right, and then we have some space back here. That's where we put our big step stool, and we can store our fan back there too if we want to. But right now, Shannon's got it stored over here. All right, I'm going to turn you around and show you what we keep under the beds. All right, Shannon's going to show you under the bed. 
these really cool bins that we found. And we found these at Walmart and I think Target maybe, I yeah. don't know. Yeah, well, after yeah. a lot of searching because yeah. the idea, the idea is to use the whole length and the whole width. Mm -hmm. The height was the issue for us, mm -hmm. but we found these and they worked out perfect. Really like them because they're plastic. We use the top two up here for our hiking stuff, our backpacks, our shoes, our jackets, all of that. Uh, they slide in and out very easy because we use the lids that go to them as the base, so it makes an easy, in easy slide. Out. Right. right. Mm -hmm. So, and then we have the smaller units down here. This is this is my garage. Mm -hmm. um, we use these down here. At the end. Right. Mm -hmm. We have one that goes this way and then the two at the back pull out this way. Right. And this is more van stuff. The garage, um, extra. extra toilet paper and extra paper towels. Karen has her kitchen stuff down here, which I'm sure she'll show you later. And this is our electrical cords, our levelers, everything for the van. Right. All right. So I'm going to show you the entire space of the cot underneath is being used. So we have got bins that run all the way take up all that space another one that takes up all that space and these and actually these... had to be a little bit shorter because the wheel well is right here right mm -hmm. so these these had to be a different size than this size mm -hmm. and actually on top of the wheel well is where we have a rolled up uh, mat out there mm -hmm. I have a slid in, or excuse me slid across the wheel well that lays up against the side mm -hmm. all right so we have utilized every bit of the space underneath both sides uh, for storage, right? Absolutely. Okay. So again, uh, utilizing every inch of space. Now I showed you behind my cot is our little table that we like to keep in here, or I call it my headboard. And behind Shannon's, behind the refrigerator, we still have space back there. Yeah. So this is this is the sliding door that Karen and I don't. We use. do not use that. We don't use, but it's still accessible in case of emergency that we need to get out. We can still get out. But so there's that little drop off, that little step. For the sliding door that's where i store our solar panels solar panels yep so that's down there our um go treads for our traction system in case we or get stuck i get us stuck yes we have those down there and i even have room for a an extra pillow an extra pillow so we do have extra space in case we need it back yeah. there mm -hmm. all right again utilizing every inch of space that we can all right, so now we're going to show you at the end of each um, end of the bed here, we turn these to where you can pull them out. And this is extra kitchen for me, okay? So you pull it out, and in here I have, uh, this is extra paper plates, and I have a uh, electric um, eye to cook off of, and this is an electric skillet to cook out of, and I have a couple of other skillets in here. I have a tablecloth that we just found and some foil. These are those foil packs that you can cook a whole meal in. Anyhow, this is my extra kitchen right here. And so when I need to get something out of here, I can easily pull this in and out. Right, or the whole thing can go out. Yeah, or you can take the whole thing out if you need to. Yeah. And then, and then on the left of it, I have my little portable vacuum cleaner. Isn't that cool? And that's that on my side. All right, so as you can see, Shannon's comes in and out very easily. Yep. This is where I keep our extension cords for power. All right, so you can see we've got them hanging up around the seat there. We're utilizing the power at the site right now. Levelers, which we use almost, almost every time. Mm -hmm. Not this time, but almost every time. Mm -hmm. And then this, Karen actually found at a yard sale, is actually a jumper cable canvas carry bag, which works out perfect because what I keep accessible is 25 foot extension cords but just in case we have a 50 and 100 foot extension cord in case in case we need them because we have run into that before yep, so mm -hmm. and then i don't know if you can see there you go that's the mat that's the mat that she that's was the mat that about. i was talking mm -hmm. about oh so using every bit of space okay so the other thing that uh, we do to keep the floor clean and try to keep moisture down so forth and so on we utilize a, a lot of rugs in here now this uh, van we were lucky in that it had that mat already in here when we bought the van and then we utilized this is that um, flooring 
right? Yeah. It's it, kind it, of that ribbed flooring. We went ahead and laid that out. So that's all the way back across to the front of the van. And then this is just like one of those kitchen mats that you would buy. Anti-fatigue mat. Anti mat that we can wipe down. If you step on it and it's wet and your shoes are wet, it won't drain down into your fabric rugs that you have below. So that we have that at the end here. And then all down the center, these are fatigue mats as well. They're like bathroom mats that we found at Walmart. To run them down the center of the aisle just gives a little more protection and also gives some more insulation to the van. Yeah, and they're comfortable. Right. Okay, they're cushy to step on when you roll out of bed and you step up first thing in the morning. They're nice and cushy. They're comfortable. And we have one that's behind her that you can't yeah, there's see. there's actually three that, so Karen can independently take them out and clean them. If you and there is also another one of these up there behind her. Right. So that if we have to, um, from the front seat, try to come back and our feet are wet, we don't step. Uh, we don't make the mat, the, the rugs wet. We don't want to make these wet. So we make sure we take our shoes off here or up there. So the other thing we have discovered are these. Yes. Um, so actually, the first round that we found, there were actually puppy pads. Um, we had a very, very, very rainy trip in Shenandoah. Oh, one it was terrible. Season and or one trip with Karen's sister and husband, and uh, we had a real hard time managing our wet stuff. So. We were, went through, I don't know how many rolls of paper towels, laying out paper towels, trying to be absorbent. So long story short, we were at a yard sale and I saw some puppy pads. I was like, how about we try those? So we went through all of our puppy pads, recently found these at a yard sale. <laughs> these are the, they're, they're medical pads. Um, but I think I paid a dollar for the entire pack. So the nice thing is, is they've got this plastic on the one side and the absorbent on the other side. So when the weather is nasty, we can open up one, two, however many we need, put these down, and when you come in with your wet feet, you have a place to stop, take off your wet shoes, clothes, whatever, and this absorbs it and not the floor. The other thing about these cool little pads that um, Shannon thought of and we now use, <laughs> When it's rainy and wet out and you are tracking through the woods, a campsite, I don't care, you're going to get stuff all over your shoes. Yeah. So these pads actually will, when you take your shoes off, will catch all that stuff up, stuff off the bottom of your shoes. We leave our shoes on it and then we don't track all that stuff all through the van. So that's the other thing. These are fantastic for that. Right, right. Because when the weather is nice, we put out our camp mat and we have we both wear recovery sandals that you can take on and off when you go in and out of the van. When that's not possible, that's when you start tracking stuff in and that's where these come in very, very handy. Yep. This is why we use them. Look how yucky those shoes are. That's you fun. don't want to go tracking through your nice clean living area. So we use them for that reason. Uh, we had one out here when we first got here yesterday. Put it out because it had rained and we had could see that we're going to be tracking stuff in and it got trashed so this is our second mat and these also work out great when say um it's raining and we have to take off in the morning and our steps are wet yeah or mm -hmm. what a, if there's um sometimes the extension cords are soaked and and or muddy this is a great area to use to, to lay put all of that things. stuff until you get to your next stop and can pull it out to dry so right. yeah these these have become yeah, we, quite useful we love those yes <laughs> well, all right all right, and again, utilizing every bit of space, the pads that we just showed you to put out for when we are having bad weather and need a place to put our gross shoes. We keep a stack of them up underneath here. They're right at the back door, easily accessible. Throw one out and then we're good. And then over here on my side, I have a little bit of my cookware that I've slid up underneath here. So we're utilizing everything we can, every little nook and cranny we can find. All right. All right, so we even use some of the back door space. Uh, these are, again, the cargo nets that Karen found at a yard sale. Uh, I hooked them up using, again, all of the existing holes. Um, this is our privacy tent that we use. Occasionally. Mm -hmm. We're not close to a bathroom. We <laughs> pop that up. Uh, behind that, I keep our Living in, Living a in a bubble screen, our screen yep, which we're going to be putting up today. Yep. Yeah, and on the other side here, 
kind of we try to kind of keep everything balanced um so this is actually a wreath a canvas christmas wreath bag that has our cooking grill tripod and fire starting stuff in here so everything if we were to cook over the fire this whole bag comes out it's good to go and the reason we bought this and found i, I don't know did we buy that or we, we found that somewhere no i i actually i got this one on amazon okay. i think it was like seven dollars because it zip it zips close it has a hand, carry handle and it keeps all of the grill smell and the stink and the grease the grind inside of here <laughs> yes. right so the van we don't we don't want the van smelling like no. food because we sleep in there right and sometimes we go in bear country so yes <laughs> the idea is to keep the smell down <laughs> yeah, magnetized. Yep. All right, this is our living in a bubble screen. We really love this thing. This is probably one of my favorite additions to the van because it makes the van feel so much bigger mm -hmm. when on days like this you're able to keep the back doors open, enjoy this view, you get the airflow. It's yeah, definitely one of my favorite additions. All right, guys, so we have shared with you our no build do it yourself van design i guess yeah. is what you would call it um this works out fantastic for us there is not a thing i can think of that we need no um you know um as most of you know karen and i went cross country in the van for a month and we had everything that we needed along with us and then some mm -hmm. so we're really happy with the setup yep. um things occasionally change or we fine-tune stuff but for the most part I'm thinking this is it this yeah. is what we've got so mm -hmm. thought we would share but we are going to share with you our fantastic view of the back of the band today so thanks guys for joining us as we went wandering out yonder today and sharing our van design and hope that you guys learned something from it we hope to see, see you, you soon bye <laughs>